Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2016 Winnebago Mini 2401RG. It's going to be a nice rear kitchen floor plan, couple entrances to the bath, uh, slide out on there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front, make our way back, and then we'll head on in. So right here is going to be your power tongue jack, nice and easy to use. This is of course going to help uh, when you're connecting or disconnecting to your tow vehicle. And also it does have a light on here in case you have to hook up or disconnect at night. Behind that is going to be your propane tanks. This unit comes with two 20 pound propane tanks, however they do give you a 30 pound cover. So that way if you do want larger tanks in the future, you already have the cover for it. Behind that is going to be the rails for the battery, um, pretty self explanatory there. And then this is going to be the diamond plating. Diamond plating is going to be for any rocks or things that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. It's going to hit this diamond plating and not scratch up your beautiful fiberglass. Speaking of beautiful fiberglass, one of the things I really like to talk about on the Winnebago products is going to be the sidewalls. This is actually going to be a true poor gel coat exterior, which is one of the best uh, sidewall constructions in the RV industry. Think of it a lot like a boat hull. There, it has that luster, it has that sheen, you can uh, buff it and keep it shiny for the life of the coach. So really, really nice exterior, especially on a sunny day, you get a nice reflection in there. Uh, take a look here, you can see very ample room in the pass-through uh, pass storage, nice and large. So anything you need to stick in there, you can certainly do that. Two entrances into this coach. This one is going to lead right into the bedroom. The back one will be your main entrance and that one is going to lead into the uh, rear kitchen area. Power awning on here as well, super simple to use. Uh, you know, you have the power tongue jack, you have the power awning. They're trying to make it as easy as possible for you. Uh, one touch operation, touch button rolls out, same thing in order to make it go back in. Underneath that, you're going to have your outside speakers. Those will be connected to your multimedia center inside. However, it is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can go ahead and connect to that and control them wirelessly. This is going to be for an outside TV. So there's a sticker right here so you know where the uh, backer is in case you do want to mount a TV here outside. You can see you have your electric outlets as well as another cable outlet. Of course, the, to put the cable into the coach will be on the other side. Right back, uh, right at the bottom here is going to be your rims, nice aluminum rims on there. Um, also, it is going to be nitrogen filled tires. So that way, your tires are going to last longer, ride smoother for you. This, as I mentioned, is the main entrance. You can see it has the easy grab handle in order to make it to, uh, a little bit easier to go ahead and get into the coach. If we come around to the back side. You'll notice you do have a spare tire. Uh, hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's always really nice to have it. Detachable power cord on here. It's gonna be a 30 amp power cord. Detachable cords, I, I like myself. Uh, I, they are a little bit more of a hassle sometimes to connect and disconnect. However, it's not leaving a big hole in the coach where you know ants or mice or something are gonna crawl up the cord and get in there. So I like having the, the detachable. If you look up top, you'll see the nice crowned roof. That way water's not gonna pool up there. It'll naturally run to the sides where you'll have your uh, rain gutters taking it to the front and the back so it's not dripping right down on your campsite. Let's come around to the off door side here. This essentially is going to be all your hookups. As I mentioned, there's going to be your satellite as well as cable, potable water hookup here. Um, this is going to be your black tank flush. So if you, uh, the cool thing about the black tank flush, basically, instead of having to take a hose into the bathroom, putting down the toilet to wash out the black tank when you're done camping, now you can just take the hose, put it right there, has sprayers built in, does it for you. And then this, of course, will be your outside shower. That's going to have both hot and cold hookup. All right, folks, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the gorgeous interior. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Winnebago Mini 2401RG. Let's go ahead and start off in the back as this is going to be a rear kitchen. Right here as you step in is going to be the uh, refrigerator and freezer. You can see you have plenty of space. One of the things I like about the location of this though is that it's nice and easy if you have to come in grab a beverage or anything or maybe you're having some hot dogs, hamburgers, forgot some condiments, nice and easy to reach right in there and grab it. Uh, also this will run off of both propane and electric and it's also going to have automatic switchover for you. So what that means is if you are running it off propane as you're traveling, as soon as you get to your campsite, plug it into shore power, going to switch over to electric saving you on your propane. Now right down here, this is pretty cool too. This is going to be a nice deep storage space. You can really use that for whatever you want, but I kind of like the idea of having shoe storage. Right as you walk in, you can take your shoes or flip-flops off, tuck it right in there, and that way they're hidden and tucked away. 
This is going to be a hidden control panel. This will have your slide outs as well as your awning, uh, some of your main lights, and then your tank monitoring system there as well. If we move over a little bit, here's gonna be the microwave. This is the weight of the unit, 5,220 pounds, so relatively lightweight. Uh, can be towed by a lot of midsize or large SUVs. Fully functional hood on here with a light and a fan. Uh, down below, you have the three burner Atwood cooktop. The front burner is going to be high output and it has the cover on here. I like to have the cover on both the cooktop and the sink because it really allows for a lot more prep space. Uh, and you have this nice big L, so a lot of prep space in this kitchen, which is what you would expect in a rear kitchen. Uh, plugins, you do have a plug in here as well as one on this end of the counter. There it is right there. So if you need to plug in toaster, coffee maker, whatever it may be, you can easily do that. Nice bank of four full extension drawers and take a look at how long these drawers are. Nice long drawers, very functional, very usable there. Also underneath the sink is some additional storage. You can take a look right there. Perfect space for uh, a lot of your cleaning supplies. As I mentioned, sink covers, stainless, uh, stainless sink, double bowl, two covers. Covers. These will be cutting board quality, so you can go ahead and flip these over. Uh, you know, I like to use one for meats, one for veggies. Of course, window here lets in a lot of natural light. LED lights, you have two of them in the kitchen as well as one on the hood. Uh, those are gonna be great. It's gonna help light up the kitchen a lot. This entire coach does have LED lights, which is phenomenal because it's a, a lot less of a power draw. And so if you uh, don't have full hookup, your battery is gonna last a lot longer for you. Take a look up top, more storage. Great pantry storage there, as well as over here. Now this model does have these nice solid doors on there. You can see, uh, you know, heavy duty solid doors. It just kind of goes to show you some of the Winnebago quality. As we move over, this is going to be the slide right here. Uh, so this is the sofa, jackknife style sofa. There is a little bit of storage underneath. You can see, lift that up, you have a little bit of storage right there. So if you wanna put some bedding, some sheets, whatever it may be, some pillows, you have room. And also you have room behind it as well. They utilize uh, the, the slide height here. You can see you have some extra storage up top, which is great. Again, LED lights, nice windows here as well. Then across the way, this is gonna be the dinette. Uh, I like this dinette because it is a large dinette. You have two windows here as well, so you can have a nice view out to the campsite. And then this, of course, drops down into a bed for additional sleeping space. So you have the jackknife sofa as well as the dinette uh, for any additional guests. Right uh, smack dab in the center is going to be your 32 inch TV. So you know whether you wanna sit in the dinette or on the couch, you actually have a good view, kind of a unique floor plan, so I do like the placement there. Storage up top here as well. And then this is going to be the multimedia center. Uh, I did touch on this when I was outside, uh, but this is gonna control the outside speakers as well as the inside speakers. This is gonna be your radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you do wanna watch a movie, you don't have to worry about bringing anything separate, you can just pop it right in there and it's good to go. Also, one thing I do like to talk about, these, this is gonna be Jensen Electronics. Manufacturers do pay more money for Jensen Electronics, but they're gonna be better than you know everything else that's out there. They are actually, uh, built for the RV industry. So they're built to withstand the temperature extremes as well as the shake and vibrations from going down the road. One last thing I do want to show you right over here. So also built into the slide. This is really neat too. You have this huge wardrobe space. You can take a look here. If you see how deep that is, I mean, if you plan hide and seek, you have a good hiding spot, but uh, right up there, plenty of room for hangers. So uh, very nice storage, excellent wardrobe space. All right, let's head on in. We'll take a look at the bathroom. In the bathroom of the 2401, right down in the corner is going to be your porcelain toilet. Porcelain's great, of course, because it is going to be easier to clean. Plenty of leg room there as well. Over here, you get nice big linen closet. You can see that, plenty of storage here, which is great. That way you have spot for your towels and all your other bathroom accessories. Neo angle shower in the 2401. Uh, you have some shelving space, nice hand wand, and you can see up top you have a skylight which is gonna let in additional light and give you uh, additional headroom. 
And then right outside the shower is going to be your mirrored medicine cabinet. Great storage up top there as well. Uh, nice stainless steel bowl, a big countertop, plug-in underneath, and additional storage. The bedroom of the Winnebago 2401 is going to feature a walk-around queen-size bed with excellent storage underneath. This will be strut-supported, so it's nice and easy to lift up as well as lower back down. Now one side of the bed, you have a nice big shelf with a plug in here. This, so this is a great place to charge any of electronics at night, or if you do have a CPAP machine, there's gonna be plenty of space on that shelf for you. Underneath also, you have a full extension drawer. The other side is going to give you extra wardrobe space. So not only do you have the huge wardrobe uh, in that slide, but you have a little bit here in the bedroom as well, and you have additional storage up top. Also, this uh, the bedroom does have dual opposing windows here, which both are gonna open so you have a nice cross breeze if you don't wanna run the ducted AC. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2016 Winnebago Mini 2401RG. It's gonna be a really nice couples coach, great floor plan, it's not too heavy. Uh, you have that beautiful rear kitchen, the big slide there with the sofa, you know, the dinette. I really like what they've done with the floor plan where they laid out the TV. Uh, it's really just very cozy for two people. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.